So we're always concerned about mass adoption, right? We want crypto to be adopted by the masses. And we know it's a slow process. We know it's not something that just happens with a snap of a finger and boom, we have mass adoption, right? Every new technology takes time. It goes through this bell curve, right? Where you have some, you know, beginners of the bell curve and then followed by larger chunks of people who slowly adopt new technology. Uh, but there is one thing out there, according to Invest Answers, another very popular crypto YouTuber here. Uh, there's one thing that he says could be what sparks mass crypto adoption. We're going to talk about that one thing in this video. Before we do, thank you for coming back to the channel. Really appreciate it. Make sure you subscribe down below if you like this type of content, if you want to stay up to speed with what's going on in the cryptocurrency market. All right. Also, hit that like button. Also helps us out tremendously. Now, uh, Invest Answers says that smartphones could be what sparks mass crypto adoption. And you're wondering, well, we've had smartphones for a while. What what do you mean here, right? Uh, and I was curious too, and that's why I wanted to bring you this uh, video because it's very interesting, his perspective here. So uh, basically, this is what he had to say, okay? And it's using smartphones in a new way for cryptocurrency, essentially, right? But he basically said that simplified mobile crypto wallets could be what causes the public to embrace virtual assets, right? Because think about how simple simple this is. These are non-virtual wallets, but we have a card in here, we keep it, we carry it, and we swipe. We have to create that same effect for cryptocurrency. Now, he says, if you can simplify the wallet, you can change the game. And this is where Solana co-creator comes in. The big plan for the solution for mass adoption of crypto is a wallet integrated into a smartphone. And that could help with global economic freedom. In fact, Solana's co-creator, uh, Anatoly, said, what does it look like with 1 billion people using crypto? What do you imagine? It's in this device, the device that they use every single day. The phone has to be your hardware wallet. That's just something we always felt. And it's something that is sort of missing right now in crypto. Now, the analyst says mobile phones already have all the attributes necessary to support the crypto wallets for the masses, including built-in security features. Why the phone? What's so special about the phone? Why not just a laptop or the internet? Well, more people have phones than anything else. In fact, I could shed some light on this. A lot of people in developing countries have never been on one of the devices I'm using to record this video. That's a laptop. Most people in developing countries have accessed the internet only through one way, and that is through the smartphone. Now, he says, and also with a wallet in the phone, it's better, cheaper, faster. It's also fully authenticated because there's a ton of features within a smartphone that are very important. Fingerprints and retina scans and all that type of stuff, stuff which is becoming key and critical right now, uh, that will give users much more confidence with transacting and crypto going forward. Now, in June, Solana Mobile, uh, if you remember, we talked about it here on the channel, a subsidiary of Solana Labs introduced a Web3 enabled smartphone called Saga. Around the same time, the co-founder of Solana said that mobile phone's goal was to make transacting and managing crypto assets as amazing as using Apple Pay. Imagine if it were just that simple, that seamless. That would certainly aid in mass adoption. Now, this is no question uh, a huge, huge sticking point for mass adoption, but we also need to tear down the stigma. And a lot of the stigma comes from a lack of security. So if smartphones, which if you read this article, they believe can help us in this area with security, that needs to be the focal point right now. Because when you ask people who aren't in crypto why they're not, a lot of them will say it's not safe, right? There's hacks. There's It's only used for bad actors and what have you, right? Which are things you hear in the media. But we know in crypto that all of these things are very, very overstated, right? Sure, they happen right? But not every day, not every second, not all the time, right? 
So we need to tear down that stereotype, in my opinion, as well. But what do you think down below? Drop down what you think would also help us in mass crypto adoption. I think changing the narrative, making it more secure, uh, you know, maybe having, you know, uh, an, a wallet on the smartphone could do these sort of things. What do you think? Drop down your thoughts below uh, on this video. Thank you so much for popping in, guys. I appreciate it. I'll see you all in the next video.